I'm going to um, show how to uh, obtain and uh, install Eclipse. Well, at first I will go to the Eclipse website and um, there's a link right here download Eclipse that's convenient Eclipse IDE for Java developers M many of these these are different packagings of Eclipse different collections of the um, Eclipse uh, plugins and features and this is for this course this is uh, this is a good choice so let's go ahead and do that and um, let's take a look here this is I have a 32-bit windows I'll click on that and uh, let's go ahead and download that Alright, that's going to take some time to download. Okay, this um, this has completed. Here's my download. I can uh, extract that. And put that uh, where I want it. There is no um, installation program for this. Basically, you just uh, unzip the download. Okay, I put the um, the exp the um, the code here, the expanded archive here. There's the exp the Eclipse uh, executable. Simply run this. Yeah, the first time you run Eclipse, or actually at any time you run Eclipse, it wants to know which uh, folder to use as a workspace. And uh, I usually have several workspaces, so I do not check this box. So that I always go through this screen. This is the this is the default suggestion. I'm going to accept that. and uh, looks like it's um, running fine there we go there's a welcome screen this is you can go through and read about these things otherwise you can clear that and here you have the the interface I don't usually use these I usually clear those and it looks like it's ready to go so Eclipse is um, is now installed and uh, just to come back to the web page, I'm going to uh, make a comment about this. This, the last time I taught this class, uh, the students that were using 64-bit Windows had trouble running Eclipse uh, using the 64-bit JVM, and so what we had to do was use this 32-bit uh, Java. Uh, I don't know if that's still the case. So that's a that's an open research problem that that those the issues related to that problem uh, may have been uh, resolved already so once again I'll leave this um, this comment up here this particular issue 64-bit windows and that's a um, that's an open uh, question right now whether that's uh, at some point they're going to fix the problem and then I can I can remove this from the from the book so here's a section that talks about um, walks you through the procedure of adding uh, some file types so let's go ahead and uh, and do that we want certain files uh, with with certain extensions these extensions in particular we want files with those extensions to be opened automatically using the text editor that's uh, built into Eclipse so I'm going to start up Eclipse and I'm going to carry out this uh, this procedure here so we need to go from through Windows and then preferences the general branch here go into content types and uh, set these uh, set these patterns uh, to be the the patterns that uh, will be associated with a text editor alright I forgot to check on that We'll need to restart Eclipse. Once again, it was Window Preferences General 
content types and uh, so was it text so we select the tech no text node here rather and click on add and uh, this is uh, I think we need to do these one one after another so let's go ahead and do that so star.sql is one and uh, star uh, ink for include is another one and um, star.css oops and star.jsp star.jsp okay now from this point forward when we open files with those extensions we'll open those uh, by default with the text editor